Welcome back to Rob's. If this is your first time joining me, then I'd like to welcome you to Stairs Back to Rob's. Scores. Bitter Heavens. What does that mean? That's a song that was playing um, during your meditation. I feel like you've accomplished something, but it was not without great sacrifice. And I feel like you're accomplishing something, but it doesn't feel the way that you thought it would feel. Or for all that you went through to get to this place, it's like, eh, like an anti-climax. You know what I mean? It's like, it just wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Um, I feel like the music just stopped. It was like, a, you know what I'm saying? It was like somebody said, cut the music, cut the mic. You know what I mean? It was like something suddenly ended is what I'm getting here. And it's like, now it's like, uh, I'm trying to find my way, you know, or, or a new way of approaching something like a compass. I need a compass. The answers that you do need, the answers that you're searching for are coming. I do feel like that. Um, I feel like there's just a need to like do less, say less. Soon as, uh, what did it say? Lee said, soon as mended. I, I feel like do less, you know what I mean? Allow, get into that that spirit of allowing things to happen, but also get into like stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, I do feel like there's something, it's like, it won't change if you don't change kind of thing, right? And I also think that there's a need to balance like your belief system or your spirituality with practicality. You know what I mean? It's like faith without works. It's dead. Faith without works is dead. Let's move on. We're going to pull um, some romance angel cards to kind of see what's going on with you. Um, this can pertain to your love life. It can pertain to any relationship. My channel is built on relationships. Um, that could be platonic or otherwise. Okay. So I'll take it however it resonates. What messages are there for Taurus during this time? You deserve love. You are lovable. Romantic feelings both came out in the reverse. Taurus. You got to know that you that you deserve it. Trust. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone. I feel like there's something that you're not keeping an open mind about. I mean, you are a fixed sign. That doesn't mean that you can, you're not capable of keeping an open mind. But for fixed signs... It's fixed. Think about the word fixed. You know, sometimes it's hard to change or hard to move a situation when it's fixed or a person. Depends on what's in your chart. So, Taurus, you deserve love is in the reverse. Why? Let's look at it. Another good night. In the song that's playing. I feel like um, some of you are musicians. Something about love here. Let's see. There could be somebody new in your life and maybe you're feeling, you or them, are feeling unworthy of something in some way. Show me you deserve love in the reverse. What is that here? Oh, Taurus. For some of you, work could be getting in the way of love. Or some of you could be using work in order to get over some sort of heartbreak that happened. We got the moon at the bottom of the deck here. I don't think you're expressing how you're feeling about yourself. Or well, maybe it's the person that you're dealing with. Roles can always be reversed, take it however it resonates. But I feel like there's somebody who's not truly expressing themselves, who's not opening up something. But I do also see that um, perhaps there was it could have been involved in a love triangle or something just was very disappointing for you. And it's like right now you're not trying to do anything. Mm -hmm. Why is in reverse? There's a fear of change here. There's someone that's not listening to their intuition. High Priestess is your energy, Taurus. You are Pisces. There's a need to free yourself from what... I feel like you are freeing yourself from whatever kind of had you trapped in your head but there's a fear of something changing you know there's a, a there's an indecision here there's some kind of okay in your last reading somebody was dealing with a lot of people or there's just a lot of people that um popped up in that reading okay and there were some people who were upset 
and all of that, right? Narrow it down a little bit, right? Was the was the thing. Now that could have been the person that you were dealing with, or that I could be talking to some Taurus that's popping, you know. And other, a lot of people see that y'all are, and so that there, therefore there are a lot of options here. But something broke your heart. Why is the Three of Swords here? Could have been an X. They broke your heart. Scorpionic energy here. Doesn't mean that they were Scorpio, but this is definitely an X. So you're not really looking to get anything new right now, but you also I feel like you're also not kind of wanting things to end with this other person. Or like fearing of things changing. Fear of the unknown is what I'm getting here. Seven of Cups. But you're releasing it though. You're getting out of your head. I feel like I'm talking to a Taurus who's starting to get more rest or just find more peace in the situation. Another good night. The Nine of Swords is having, this person's having a bad night. They can't sleep. It could be nightmares. could be like something that's stressing them out that's been on their mind and it keeps them up at night. But the song, Another Night, Another Good Night was playing. So I feel like you're healing from something, right? Not really wanting to get into anything new. But you're starting to feel better. That's a good thing. Show me the Six of Pentacles. Wow. But here's that. Here it is. You deserve love in the reverse. You are lovable in the reverse. The strength in the reverse says the exact same thing. For not feeling worthy of something. Or like, this could just be insecurities or something has sucked on your strength. And I feel like it can have a lot to do with this X energy judgment. You could have, it could have been an, a commitment you were dealing with another Taurus, or this was like a marriage. So there's heartbreak surrounding an ex. Could have been like a long-term commitment, marriage, something. There's a fear of things changing. I feel like, what is the high priestess here? Yeah. Oh. Who is this other person, Taurus? <laughs> You didn't listen to your intuition about taking action on something and it ended up kind of hurting several people. It's like it wasn't without sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like now you've kind of built this wall around yourself. Could be you, could be the other person. But somebody has kind of built a wall around themselves. They're kind of still holding on to it. A little beat up. It could be beat up spiritually, emotionally. I'm hoping it ain't physically because we got phone numbers and hotlines for that. There ain't no need in taking no shit like that, okay? But what I'm seeing here is that um, somebody walked away broken, but you didn't. somebody didn't listen to their intuition. It could be about a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, or about something that you were passionate about. It's like, maybe I didn't, I didn't choose the right thing or the right, you know what I'm saying? King of Wands. Or I'm talking to a Taurus that has fire in a chart huh the right thing would have been taking action on that other person or that other thing that i was passionate about i feel like that's what a set thing that that's what a set that's what would have set things right in my life if i had gone that way does that make any sense or if i had gone with that person or that idea or taking that action you know what i'm saying that's what would have set things straight that's what would have actually made me happy that was my wish fulfillment, but I did something else. All right. I feel like whoever you're dealing with or whatever choice was made, you don't have a lot of romantic feelings for that person. I'm saying romantic feelings is in the reverse. What was the choice that was made? To walk away from whatever it, oh, you walked away from a connection that made you happy. For what? Something else that you were holding on to. Four of Pentacles, Taurus energy. What were you holding on to? Or maybe you were protecting yourself from like drama. You made a decision. What was the decision, Taurus? To let go of that past person, a love from the past, and be single. You chose yourself. But is there regret? Maybe. Maybe there was a, like, you held, I feel like you held back your true feelings 
Maybe because you were married. Because we have this 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 car here, yeah. It was for family. So it could have been something that you didn't start. You kind of snuck away from it. You chose to but how are you single? But there's also this marriage. I feel like you chose what was gonna make you feel the most stable. Or what you thought was gonna make make you feel the most stable but it did not come without sacrifice i feel like you had to choose your family or a situation involving money family stability the stability of your children and so forth right why is it not a pinnacle here maybe what you really wanted was to be single it's the same energy here i'm heartbroken by this situation whatever it is surrounding this marriage i use work to kind of like you know take my focus somewhere else for a few hours right but there's a lot of confusion going on in my life but there's a fear of, of that changing as well i didn't listen to my intuition about what actually made me happy and probably would have set things right in my life had i made this offer or taken this offer this other situation right that's a whole nother thing i chose to walk away from that connection i chose to break that off right because i was still holding on Or I, I held back. There's something about holding back here. Four of Pentacles. Maybe you were holding a grudge against this person. There was a, a dispute between you two that perhaps you hadn't let go of, right? <clears throat> so therefore, I didn't make this new start. I, I, I'm getting the energy of like sneaking away or just holding back or take... I kind of took what I needed from that situation and I moved on because of this family situation. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like there was somebody who didn't want to be alone. Well, the single life didn't give me what I was really looking for. I'm looking, I, I, hmm. or perhaps feeling sorry that things didn't work out with this person. Six of Wands? Yeah. Or this could be the other person who was single. But somebody wasn't. Somebody was clearly married or in a, a family, um, in a family way. Page of Pentacles. I I feel like there's somebody who didn't make this decision with their heart, though. This decision was like, this is the right thing to do. I think that's the right thing to do. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting here. We are all, we don't have the manual on life. None of us know what the hell to do. Most of the time, okay, Taurus? No judgment here. I'm just reading the story. But I feel like um, you abandoned it because somebody abandoned the situation because I could, I can't juggle all of this. I'm not letting go of this. I'm afraid for this to change or this can't change or there's something fixed about a situation. I want to go over here and manifest this with this single person, but I'm not single. Roles can be reversed. Somebody didn't want something to end here, right? So let's look at romantic feelings in the reverse. You look like a person to read and to look deeper into this situation. I am, uh, I got a few slots open, but I'm going to move on. Romantic feelings in the reverse. What is this? I just feel like somebody would just rather be elsewhere. You know what I mean? It's like anywhere but here. I mean, not anywhere, but you know what I mean? I'm, I'm getting the energy. I just want to be somewhere else. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments, Taurus. So let's look at romantic feelings in the reverse. Who is this about? What is this? Could be whoever you snuck away from. Or somebody, it's like, maybe you thought this person wasn't interested. They thought you weren't interested anymore. There was a loss of romantic feelings between you and someone. Oh, my God. That's the Seven of Swords.
So if it were you or somebody who snuck away, right? Who, who, who initiated the separation or who was holding back communication. Either that person, either you want to confess something to them, something came out about y'all or, you know, one or the other, something came out, like a secret or whatever was being held back came out. And then that caused like a break between you two. Four swords. Could have been a fire sign that you were dealing with. Something came out and I feel like it was a secret or something that was being held back and either this person or you stopped talking to each other. Dropped the burden, lost attraction. That was the loss of romantic feelings, but this person is still in your energy. Why? Somebody did not, somebody wasn't interested or didn't take an offer. Four steps. Somebody decided to move forward with their love life. Drop, drop the, I, I'm not fighting with you anymore. I'm not doing this. Five of Wands. It's Leo energy. Five of Wands. Felt like a final decision. It's like I'm afraid to commit to this. I'm afraid to move forward from it. I got to move on. This could have been Aries. Y'all, uh, Aries was popping up and y'all reading for a long time. Taurus was popping up and Aries reading for a long time. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe you can check out those readings. But what I'm seeing here, I feel like this is the other person. Something, okay. Take it how it resonates. Either something came out about you or something came out about them. It could be involving a fire sign, this other person, right? Somebody decided to move on and let and and get rid of whatever drama was connected to this relationship. Somebody became uninterested and moved on with their love life. I can't take this chance with you no more. Whatever we've been, whatever foolish behavior you've been involved in, or I've been involved in, or we got involved in, I can't take no chances on this no more. I'm afraid of committing to this. Okay, so they moved on. All this is like Aries energy right here, right? Ace of Pentacles. So somebody decided maybe to go back home. Could have been whoever was uh, married in the first place decided to go back home and, and fight for that home situation, right? It could have been like well, this person took their love away from me or they, you know, things didn't work out with me and this person. So let me go try to fix my marriage or whatever the, you know what I'm saying? That situation is. But that wasn't balanced either. Maybe that ended too. It's like something wasn't fitting. Something was still missing. So what's the Eight of Wands? Perhaps you're still holding on to this other situation. Because there's two people here. There was several people in the last one. But I feel like somebody's narrowed it down a little bit this week. So I feel like there's still one, though, that's prominent in your energy. And I feel like it's a fire sign. Aries, in particular, could be a Leo or Sagittarius as well. But either you or this person moved on because it was like whatever information came to the surface, whatever that moon energy was that was at the bottom of the deck earlier, somebody was like, uh-uh, mm -mm, I'm not interested in that. That's drama. That's too much for me. Communication could be coming in, though. It could be that you t some fast forward movement comes in. Maybe the right timing you know, the clock is all, it's always going around and, and, and it's in the will of fortune is always going around. So it's like, at some point, maybe you two come back together, <laughs> divine timing and all of that, get back, getting back on the right path or just perhaps healing, releasing. But let me see something. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I still don't know. Because the Five of Pentacles in the reverse could talk about releasing something or trying to make it better. Going back to try to make something better that you abandoned or, you know, that you left undone. Some kind of hardship, right? Overcoming. Six of Wands. Five of 
This is coming back to make something better because you see success with something. This is going to be you or the other person, right? Somebody's going to try to make this better because they still see this like, I didn't, I didn't get what I got over here. Wait, <laughs> how am I trying to say this? Whoever this fire sign is, if it's a fire sign, could just be somebody who's, who's really fiery energy, very confident, this person's busy, people like this person, right? Attractive, whatever. Possibly an entrepreneur or self-employed. There is a difference. I walked away from you, but I, but I didn't get the feeling. I didn't feel successful. With whoever, whatever it is that I went to, I don't like this one. This something, something could have happened. Y'all could have separated during winter time, right? And it's like whatever has been going on since then, neither one of you, I feel, or one of you, just feels like, damn, I just did not get. I don't get the same feeling that I got with this person, even though I walked away from them because I thought it was the right thing to do because I, I had this other thing over here. You know what I'm saying? That's, pressing on me. That was priority. Temperance. Healing those unbalanced emotions between you two. Looking at things from a different perspective. Queen of Cups in reverse. There's something that you've been in withdrawing your emotions from too. You, you felt like it was the right thing to do. You were this other person. Felt like it was the right thing to do to just like eliminate the emotional part from the decision-making process. I'm about to move on. I got to focus on the long term. And I've been waiting for something that's just not working, if that makes any sense. Three of Pentacles. I can't keep waiting on something that's not going, that's not doing. Justice. I'm coming. Justice. Final decision. This isn't working out for me. I have to manifest something new. What is the manifestation? What are you what are you going for? I feel like I don't know if this is okay. So you ended something. I don't know if it was the situation at home. I feel like you ended a lot of things. Cause like I said in the last reading, it was there was a need to narrow down some of these options. There was a need to narrow down some of this confusion and chaos that was going on. There were several people who was upset. Okay. Five of Swords came out twice. Several people ended up upset. It did not come without sacrifice. Okay. But I do see ending whatever it is that somebody went to after they ended another connection that they felt very strongly about. That that they went to did not work out well. Okay, you are the person. Then it was like, let me, maybe I should go back and try to fix things with whoever this other person is that I let go in order to take care of those personal responsibilities, right? I kind of didn't make that decision with my emotions. I just kind of pulled my emotions out of the situation and I, you know, and I, and I just ended it. And I never really quite got over that. But I do see a final decision that's coming forward to manifest a reconciliation. That's what's at the bottom of the day. I feel like this person never truly left your emotions or they never, you never truly left theirs, right? The last card we have is trust. This, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Did I say faith without works was dead earlier? I feel like you and this other person still... How does this person feel about Taurus? This other person that they had to let go of. They probably are Aries, honey. This emperor. This person, like I said, this could be somebody who's self-employed. This could be somebody who's also eliminated some stuff out of their life, maybe... They're, they're in the process of still trying to get over you too, or perhaps they have. My priestess in reverse. <sighs> this 
person's not all the way being honest with themselves, though, when it comes to their feelings for you. They still feel, they're afraid to come your way. A lot of Aries going on here. They're afraid to come your way. Okay. They're trying to move on with their love life. I see that. They're trying to, like, drop some confusion, but the high priestess. This person is changing. Uh, maybe if you run into this person again, you'll realize that there's something very different about them. They're like transforming in a way, but they kind of still holding on to you too. They're still holding on to what happened, but they're also still holding on to you. But they kind of waiting to. Maybe you two haven't talked in a long time. It could be seven months that you two haven't talked. But they still kind of waiting. They're giving to other things though. They are, they are trying to move on. Oh, the emperor. Hmm. I think they were really, really sad when things didn't turn out the way that thing that they wanted between you two. I feel like they were really they dealt with that a lot more than you can imagine. They were stuck for a long time when things ended between you two. But I do feel like they, they used that energy to propel them forward in their career. Or in some other way. You know what I'm saying? So let's look at trust. What is that about? This situation is calling for you to have faith. What is that about? Show me trust for Taurus. There's, there's still an opportunity here. There's no communication yet. There's no action yet. But there is. It's knocking. Show me the page of lines. Oh, what's all of this? <laughs> we got three pages. Three, page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Page of Cups in the upright. Well, I know I can't come over there with my... I'm just going to say it to us. I know I can't come over there with my dick in my hand. I can't come passion forward. I ain't trying to buy you either. Let me just say I miss you. Let me just leave with my heart. <laughs> this time. You know, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Show me the ace of wands. Then I gotta finish what I'm doing here. I can't take action until I drop this, until I, I mean, clean up what I messed up. I can't take action until I get divorced, until I break free. Here's Aries energy again. I feel like once I break free, the options will open up for me, but right now I can't do anything. Seven of Cups, too much confusion going on. Seven of Cups. It's like right now I have to reserve my emotions for this person until I until I get away until I get away from this. I have to fight through this confusion. I can't I can't come forward with my feelings. I gotta hold back a little bit because I'm still in the midst of this. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. You okay? I see how this is adding up now. The situation is called okay. One thing before the other, Taurus. That's basically, that's the whole meaning of this bread. One thing before the other. I feel like you're figuring out how to approach this situation. I'm not going to come with my dick in my hand. I'm not going to come and like try to apologize or act like I'm not interested and all this kind of stuff. I'm just going to come because I still love you. Period. Like... <laughs> Let me just make it simple, right? But I can't do that until I get, I can't have this new leap of faith. I can't take this this new, until I lighten my load, right? Once you do though, <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Once you truly let this stuff that's not fitting in your life fall, release it, then you get to this place of emotional happiness and fulfillment and independence emotionally, right? Be fair, but I do feel like it's just not going to come without sacrifice, Taurus, but it is going to go in your favor to eliminate whatever this is that's holding you back. 
there's something that you're passionate about and I feel like you would regret not taking that chance. Or maybe there was just a lack of faith or trusting that everything was gonna work out for you. How you doing, Taurus? I'm right on track. How you doing, Taurus? Everything always works out for me. I feel like you need to get into the mindset of that, right? Oh, fortune. Ooh. Once you move on, it's going to set you free. It doesn't, sometimes it don't. Listen, what was the last time you got your feelings hurt because somebody's life moved in a different direction? And what direction did that take you in when you got your feelings hurt because somebody, because God had to remove you from that person's life? It don't come without sacrifice. Nothing comes without sacrifice. But I feel like once you move on and walk away, it's going to hurt somebody. You're going to be hurt too, probably, right? So what? We get hurt every day, right? It's going to free you, though. And I feel like it's going to open a lot of doors for you, a little fortune. I feel like it's going to lead you to something better, okay? Taurus? I would go. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, Taurus. But listen to your intuition about that. How, how do you feel? What does this person want to say to Taurus? This other person. Possible fire sign, whoever this is. You feel like home to this person. They don't want to be in a position to be pressured, though. I feel like whatever happened between you two the first time around, they're like, mm, don't pressure me, though. I feel like it's one of you had really good intentions, but the execution just didn't add up. It was like somebody's actions weren't matching up with the way they actually felt or with what they were saying. They're afraid of losing you, though, or vice versa. I feel like both of you are afraid of losing each other, and you're reminded of each other constantly, I feel. Starting to understand the connection between you two. Why you have to separate, you know? I feel like you lo you look at each other differently now, and I feel like either somebody's saying, I, you look at me differently now, and I hate myself for that. I don't know which one of you it is. Don't let anyone rent space in your head unless they're a good tenant, though. How does this person make you feel? At your happiest times and at your worst. Somebody tried to replace you or you try to replace them, didn't work out well. Faking the funk just not going to get you nowhere. You can't, don't come past you first. Don't try to buy nobody or, you know, the ownership thing. Just say how you feel. You're allowed to be upset for whatever happened, but don't hold on to it. It reminds me of this quote here. Nothing that has ever happened has anything to do with now. Unless in my now, I continue to think and speak about it. A fresh new perspective today brings a fresh new experience, right? Somebody's still remembering what happened in the past. I remember every detail of that day or whatever hurt me or whatever, right? Somebody pulled back their passion or, you know, the sexual part of the relationship because they didn't want to mess things up. I feel like somebody was just trying to figure out how to do it right, but there was something heavy and pressing that was like, but you got to choose me and you got to choose us. But then there was this thing over here that made you feel amazing. You had to let that go, right? But you're not ready to let it go. I wish things could be different. There's so much potential between us, and I know I made a huge mistake. That's what this person would say to you, or you would say to them. Take it however it resonates. I'm going to pull um, just a little bit more for you, Taurus, and then I'm out of here. Somebody's dreaming about this, though. It's like it was a dream. You had a really strong connection with somebody. We got to let your friends help you in the reverse. I feel like that is definitely, that should be in the reverse. Somebody had some friends that were not giving them the best advice. Okay. Sometimes you got to look at your friend's life and be like, would I want to be like that person? Or do I feel like that person makes the best decisions? Or blah, 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 blah. And if they don't, don't listen to them. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's on the step that they're on in their life you know what i mean at the level of the, at the level that they're at you know what i'm saying but maybe this is just a you decision this is something you have to listen to you not passion not money not you know no other distraction how do you feel right let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally we have healing family issues in the reverse your love life benefits as you forgive others from your past your parents whatever it is that 
you feel has shaped your love life into what it or your life into whatever it, it looks like today there's a need to heal that because that came out in the reverse so there's some things that still need to be healed and calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations will bring you closer together it is in the reverse Taurus, this is in the reverse, right? Calling in your soulmate. Soul was, you are lovable. That was in the reverse. Somebody doesn't believe that they deserve it. And you need to believe that you deserve it. You are lovable. It don't matter how many mistakes. I mean, you don't know the, the mistakes that person made in their past. Whatever happened between you two could have been their karma or vice versa. However it goes, right? But calling in your soulmate in the reverse, but under, underneath the deck is whoever that person was, was your soulmate. And I feel like you know that or they know that, however it goes, right? I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I'm done. You got to believe it, though. I saw you letting go of something else and not really being ready to start something new, right? But this other person is still in your energy, even though you felt the need to let them go or vice versa. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am doing personal readings. I have a few slots open, so... Um, maybe move a little slower than usual but um thank you so much like share subscribe i will see you guys in the next reading ciao